Okay guys, so I am here to do a fast tutorial on how I achieve my brows. So I'm really excited I get to answer uh, a ton of y'all's questions on how I do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys what you're going to need. You need a brow pencil. Doesn't really matter what brand. You need an angled brush, looks like that. You need a concealer brush. Concealer of choice. And a brow combing pencil. And then you're going to need an eyeshadow that's closest to your hair color. And um, that's it. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to get some stuff ready. And then I shall be back to show you how I do my brows. So yeah, stay tuned. Alrighty, dolls. So first things first, you're going to need to put your moisturizer on. And you can use any moisturizer of choice. Um, it doesn't really matter if you have one you already personally use you can do that or um if you want I can tell you the one I use I use one that's actually a Target brand and it's it's just a base it's actually the knockoff of Oil Valet but, but by Target um and I really like it it gets the job done and it has good SPF as well so if you guys want to do that and here I am, y'all, in all my glory, with not a lick of makeup on, but some lip gloss. So once you have your moisturizer on, um, your first step is going to be to comb your brows. And you want to comb upward for a neater effect. So comb your brows upward and outward. Now the first thing I do is... I take my brow pencil, and this is one that's actually just from Walgreens. It's a dollar. It's called Fabu Brow. So, uh, if you guys want to pick that up, it's only a dollar. So, hey. Now, you're just going to go where your natural brow is and begin to trace that out. And you don't want to do it too harsh. You kind of want to bring it all the way out. You're going to do the same on top, where your natural brow begins. And then just follow that, that outline, like that. Light little strokes. So there you have your outline. And doing the outline is what's going to actually make your brow look a lot more crisp. Um, and then I'm actually just using my Coastal Sins palette, my 80 Coastal Sins palette. And I am taking a dark brown shade that's like hanging on for dear life, y'all. It is right there. And it's hanging on for dear life. But um, my birthday's coming up, so I'm hoping uh, I get something that's going to replace that. Hint, hint. Anyone? Anyone? Just kidding. And you're going to take your angled brush and dip into that. And you're going to start to go right at the corner and start to stroke upward for a natural effect. Stroke upward, upward, upward. And then you want to dip back in there and kind of really concentrate most of that powder right at the end. And go ahead and put pressure. And then to give it that kind of boxy effect um, I just take the angled brush right at the corner and begin to connect what's already there and when you do this you want to swipe upward because it's what's going to also help your your hairs stay the way you comb them in the beginning so there we have our brow now the trick is to grab your, this is where your concealer brush and concealer come into play. Um, and I do recommend using a concealer that, you can use the one you use for under your eye, but um, you can also maybe use something a little closer to your foundation color. Um, but if not, just use what you got. And you take just a little amount like that, and you're going to come under and start to clean under your brow for any mistakes that you may have made with the brow pencil with the powder fallout 
anything like that. So you just want to keep dipping back in there. And make sure you get it on your actual brow bone too. For that clean, I just got my brows done effect. And then you can do the same on top. And drag it all the way out. And then start to blend that out. Oh. And you can do the same for right here in the middle. just start to blend that out and don't worry if it looks like really off from your actual skin tone because you're going to be able to go and put your foundation over that and blend that out and there we have how kind of got a little concealer on there so I'm going to replace some of that powder that I've accidentally got concealer on there we go and that my dear is how you achieve the perfect brow it is kind of time consuming but it's well worth it if I mean you want your brows to look bomb.com like that oh don't mind that pimple how oh, gross I'm so sorry um but yeah and that is how you do the perfect brow and you see how it just makes your face? It's just awesome. Brows are so amazing. It, they're very important. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Um, and I'm going to put a little, a little fun part at the end. My mom was walking in and kind of interrupting my tutorial. But I'm going to go ahead and throw her in there at the end. So, I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, you guys be blessed. Love and lipstick, y'all. Uh, get your brows on. If you guys have any questions, do let me know. I will answer them. Um, and I'm going to try to do a little more videoing for y'all because I feel like I don't do as much as I should. So I'm slacking in that area, but I promise that I will be doing more of these. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Hey, Mom. Huh? And my mom's interrupting my yes. tutorial. Thanks a lot, Mom. <laughs> I'm trying to get a brow.